what's up how is it going today's video i'm going to show you through how to create you know a pop-out image from a circle you know in photoshop you know actually we've done that in Corel draw how to do this you know but right now i truly want to show you through on how to do it in photoshop so without further ado let's step into it so right now in photoshop after you might have, have your uh, picture traced so you go over to locate you know uh this tool right here ellipse tool it is normal you know in photoshop as well it is ellipse tool you know uh in uh color draw too so right now what you need to do is to click on that then you hold uh alt key down to draw a perfect you know a uh, circle right there can you see that so as this right now what you're gonna do is to just you know uh pull it down a little bit just like so because we are creating a pop-out image so what we need to do right now is to go back to the image right here hold out key down then you right drag to hold it down just like that till you uh see an arrow at the you know on top of the uh, you know helix you know object that i created can you see that until you uh see the indication of an arrow can you see that you know, right from here can you see then you left click so automatically let's go again hold alt key then you drag I pull this rasterize this layer then you hold alt key then you right drag the picture until the arrow pops up then you click click can you see that so uh it's clipped into uh the what's it called the helix you know the circle that we created so right now what you need to do next so let's just make it a bit bigger good so right now what you're gonna do right now is to make a copy of this layer right from there so what you need to do on your keyboard you know hold control key on your keyboard then you tap on j automatically copy you know uh paste at the top of the the previous one so what you need to do now is to go over and cut this part off go, go ahead to your what's it called your rectangular your rectangular macro to click on that then you range range from the bottom where you want to cut off so right now hit on delete on your keyboard automatically it deleted so can you see that ctrl d so right now make a copy of this you know uh circle ctrl j then you go over and make that white hit ctrl hold ctrl shift down then you delete automatically changes to white after i might have changed your color to white at the foreground can you see that so so to make it bigger hold ctrl key down then you hit on t automatically selected that then you point your mouse to the tip of the object just like so then you hold uh, shift key plus uh, space bar no okay plus uh what's it called Alt, alternative shift 
plus alternative together then you drag just like so to give it a perfect you know uh shift out can you see that so it's okay on your keyboard after i might have uh, make it a bit bigger so let's give it you know shadow so right now double click on that object automatically dialog box pops up you know uh, with the name layer style so what you're gonna do is to go ahead and give it you know drop shadow distance spread amounts can you see that good it's okay so right now that's all so let's match everything together after I might have selected that let me show you how to select hold control key select that then you select it you know individually after I might have select all you deselect from my keyboard then you hit on control E to match it all up on your keyboard good can you see that so let's center it can you see that so here we come to the end tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far you know as i always say see you in the next video bye for now